Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the E-Element K9999 mechanical gaming keyboard, and this was sent to me by a company called Spring in Original. So they sell loads of keyboards on Amazon, so I'll leave links in the description so you guys can go and check them out. But in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the stuff they sent me. So they sent me a few things. They sent me some keycaps, which I will get onto in a minute. They sent me two different types of colors, so I've got orange, and I've also got a pink one here, and these are all um, sort of backlit ones, so the backlight shines through the keys. But anyway, let's get onto the keyboard first. So here it is, so it comes in this sort of really basic box. Uh, it's actually got the Element logo on there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely on there. Uh, so this is what the back of the box looks like anyway. It's just got some information. It's got the blue um, type of switches, so I believe these are like the clicky ones, uh, so they're quite loud. But you can actually take them out, so the switches are pluggable, so you can pull them in and out. But anyway, let's go and unbox this thing. So I'm actually really a fan of Element keyboards. Um, the keyboard that I'm actually using right now on my PC uh, is an Element keyboard, and it's really good. So maybe this one can be a replacement for that. So as you can see, it's basically a full-size keyboard. Uh, let me just take this out quickly. So here it is, it comes in bubble wrap and it comes with instructions as well. So here is what the keyboard looks like, uh, fairly nice design, uh, it's got some screws at the top here as well. Um, let me just show you what the keys sound like. I believe it's got two stands at the back. So here are the two stands at the back which you can unclip and then the keyboard can just stand up. And it's, then it's just got a basic USB port and a cable attaching to it. I don't think the cable comes out. No, it's just stuck on. So this is what the keyboard sounds like. Okay, so it's not actually as loud as I thought it was. It's actually a bit quieter than my current keyboard, um, which is kind of nice to be honest. Um, you don't really want them too loud. You want them, you know, reasonably decent. So yeah, um, the sound on this one is actually quite good. So let's just take one of these keys off. Uh, let's go for this one right here. So they also sent me one of these, um, just the key pullers. All you do is just push it down on the key like that and then pull it off. And it should come off easily if you can get it right. There you go. So there's the switch underneath, uh, the blue switch right here. So as you can see, not really too loud. Um, this is the key itself. So as you can see, it's backlit. Uh, the LEDs will shine through, but I will show you some gameplay on my computer and you guys can hear how loud it is um, while playing games and stuff like that. So here's the orange keycap set. Now the cool thing about the keycap sets is you can completely customize your keyboard. So let's try and customize mine. So I'm just gonna open this. Um, I'm just gonna open all the corners. And I'll be careful to make sure the keys don't fly everywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take the keys that you mainly use for playing games, uh, which is W, A, S, and D. So if I can get these out, and I will probably put them on the keyboard to see how cool it looks. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the current ones out, and then swap them for these orange ones. So when you guys are putting the keys back on, all you do is make sure you line up this cross with the cross on the part and you just push it down like that and then it should push on like that. So let's put these on so it goes W and then A and then S and then D. So there you go, the keyboard is looking kind of customized and a lot cooler right now. Uh, there's pink here they're pink keys as well uh, so there's loads of different colors on the um, amazon page and um, i think they're coming out as white but they're actually like a really um sort of light pink color which is kind of nice but yeah um there's loads of different colors on the amazon page so if you guys don't like pink or orange um, there's just other ones to choose from as well so now what i'll probably do is show you guys what this keyboard is like on my pc
Right, so I'll just play some quick gameplay using the keyboard just so you guys can see how it kind of sounds and stuff like that. Um, I'll see if I remember how to play this game because I haven't played it in so long. But if you've never played this before, it's actually a really good game. Right guys, so here is what the keyboard sounds like um, when I'm using my microphone and when I'm just, you know, playing the game, so I'm like recording and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what it sounds like, this is what the keys um, are like when I'm playing. And if you guys were wondering about how to change the colors and stuff like that, all you have to do is you have to press FN and then you use the numbers right here uh, to change it. So that's on setting one, uh, that's on setting two, there's like, you can completely turn it off. Uh, that's on setting three, there's like this kind of design. We've got setting four right here, which kind of like breathes in and out. Uh, this one right here, which highlights the um, WASD and stuff like that. And then we've got the last one right here. So yeah, there's plenty of different customizable options. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out the links in the description if you guys want to buy one, because this mechanical keyboard is really, really good for the price. You won't find one cheaper than this. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.